Opposition lawmaker Bradley Felix is banning the St. Lucia Labour Party administration's first year in office. July 26 marked the first anniversary of the SLP's emphatic victory at the 2021 polls. The Philip JPL-led opposition ran on an anti-corruption and people-centric platform with campaign pledges to put St. Lucians at the forefront of public and economic policy. However, speaking to the media ahead of the House sitting on Tuesday, the Choiselle Saltibus MP believes the administration has failed to deliver and global events are just an excuse for its shortcomings. As you go around the country, there are lots of people who are complaining, who are crying, who are saying that a lot of what they expected is, has not materialized. Um, we recently heard a statement where the Prime Minister seemed to have indicated that people should try to help themselves. I mean, is, is that what the um, government was elected to do? So, so, you know, it's a concern that after one year, um, regardless of the fact that um, this government seems to be celebrating, I think um, it's an indictment on the many promises we would have heard while they were in opposition. They seem to have had answers to every single situation, but now in government, seem to have hit a brick wall. So these are the questions that, you know, the, the public um, would like answered by this government. Uh, we appreciate that there is you know, a situation as it regards to the war in Ukraine and the challenges it, re it, it brings. The ex-commerce minister argues that critics have been less than charitable to the former Alain Chastny regime and is railing against what he believes are double standards. Could you imagine if the foot was in the other um, shoe um, and if the UW government was in, was in office, the demands that would have been made by, by, the, by the usual... Um, people who make the noise. We're not hearing anybody. Everybody seems to have gone quiet. Everybody seems to be living in some sort of fear. So it's a concern um, that our country has gone a road now where people are afraid to speak um, for fear of being victimized. And, and, and we are all concerned about it. Felix enumerated a laundry list of campaign promises he believes have yet to be fulfilled, questioning the highly advertised competence and experience of the current cabinet. Well, I think one that a lot of people was looking forward to was the dealing with the outstanding um, uh, taxes due to people, people who were owed um, taxes uh, below $5,000. A lot of people were looking forward to that to assist in various um, hardships that they are currently facing. We know of the famous um, $1,500. Um, we also know of the um, the, the, the tax ceiling that the government was promising not to tax, I think it was $4,000. Um, these are the things that people were looking forward um, to, you know, coming into effect. And, you know, we're hearing a different story right now. So uh, I think these are some of the uh, more notable ones um, coming to mind immediately. The incumbent has pointed to a host of social interventions, including school and energy subsidies, laptop distributions, and other forms of economic relief to help the average St. Lucian get by. However, the opposition MP has a dystopian view of the country, one characterized by scraggly-looking surroundings, increased bus fares, and a beleaguered household consumer battered by inflation since the UWP was vanquished at the polls. I mean, the country is dirty right now. I, pass, I go around the country and, I mean, the overgrown of shrubbery, the state of our roads. I mean, I'm driving this morning. I don't know whether to go left or right to escape potholes. You know, um, I mean, it's, it's, it's just a sad state with regards to what we're facing right now. Not, not to um, even belittle the fact that, you know, what people are facing in the, in the stores. Uh, transportation, the, the, the very basic things that affect um, the people at the lowest end of the spectrum when it comes to finance. You know, they have to take a bus every day and they're telling you that this thing is hurting their pocket. I mean, the government is trying hard to address the fact that they do not want bread to increase. And so we heard the amount of um, um, concessions that are currently being given to bakers, um, you know, but you know, how, how much more, you know, how much more will 
and we continue to experience by this government, which is um, you know putting a putting a serious um, strain on the, the the most vulnerable. But the Philip J. Pierre administration has dismissed the opposition's criticisms as nothing more than sour grapes. Following the election drubbing, the incumbent citing increased payments to pensioners. The flagship youth economy program, gun control measures, and sweeping reforms to ensure prudent fiscal management of the state is resolute that the campaign promises will be executed in due time. Sula Jalfred, HTS News Force.